Hey guys, how are you doing? It's me, Survival Lily, here with Canadian Prepper, and we are going to do a kayak trip. And we were just told that it's going to be pretty bad because the glacier runoff comes all the way from the mountains, thousands of miles away, yeah. and it's melting right now. So it's and there was a storm which is causing the water level to rise, and it's creating faster moving water. And these are our kayaks. They're actually pretty sturdy, almost like boats. And now we are just going to unload them and get into the water. We are going! This is pristine wilderness. We already saw some hawks. It's really wild here. And actually there are some black bears, quite a lot. So I'm really glad that we have a dog and a shotgun. Okay, we just went through these rapids and actually we both sat on a stone but we didn't flip over at least. Yeah, it was close call. It was close and I have an adrenaline rush right now. Well, when you know you can die, it's a good adrenaline. <laughs> yeah. Especially oh. when I wasn't expecting any rapids in this river. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but you know, we now we got some experience. Now we kind of know how to read the river a little bit. Yeah. More. So <laughs> the boats are not on track. They don't have a fin, so it's really hard to navigate with them in the rapids. And actually, my boat hit his boat. So we both were in front of a stone and it was really dangerous. <laughs> Lots of fun though. Okay, the rapids are gone. We made it. But I'm pretty sure the next ones will come soon. I'm exhausted. I really feel the jet lag. A little rest. Yeah. We need to eat something. You're not no. getting the sausage. I don't think we need to. It's, oh, I don't need to. I got. It could last for a week, I think. But you need to. I need to eat here. Yeah. We just found our. First camping spot of the day. Good boy. Okay, I'm making an anchor here. Just use a stick, attach my string to it, and then take the stone, put the stone on it.
Okay, this is my shelter. It's very low level. And the wind is coming from this side. Sometimes it's really strong. And this is why I kept the pitch very low. And it will be a perfect little shelter for tonight. Nice. Okay, so I tucked in the corners at the sides and also I have used some stones to put some weight onto the top. So even when the wind is strong, this won't be going anywhere tonight. It's raining. I'm going to wait out the rain inside of the shelter. Yeah. Okay, I think the storm is over. I'm really cold. Ooh. The temperature has dropped down. <laughs> That's a real survival ordeal. Huh? <laughs> Almost like a survival situation. Almost. Yeah. That's good work for a hatchet right there. clearing up but not really <laughs> stop raining and all I ate today was gummy bears <laughs> Onions, it smells delicious. Yeah. Sun is coming out. Yeah.
hour of sunlight left. Mm -hmm. Okay, I cut up some vegetables for a soup and I'm going to roast this in olive oil. Like <laughs> <laughs> needs a little salt, but pretty good. Ah, yeah, we forgot salt. <laughs> you sure you don't want some more? You gave me quite a bit. No, it's okay. Amazing what little olive oil can do. Yeah, we need some fat. Okay guys, we are seeing some kind of animal in the tree. It's maybe a raccoon or something. Yeah, it's maybe a bird. Okay, it's pretty late. I think we are going to go to bed now. So, it was a long day. And we didn't die. <laughs> we, we did didn't not die. die. Okay, time to go to bed. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, I have a small situation here. These are my shoes and they are wet because yesterday it rained and all of the grass is wet and if you walk over wet grass you will get some water on your shoes. So my feet are pretty cold all the time and if there's one thing that I hate then it's cold wet feet. So now I improvised something. I had a pair of rubber gloves in my bug out roll and I put those gloves over my feet so now they keep dry I have a sock underneath as well, so they keep dry and hopefully warm. Now I really regret that I didn't bring my Doc Martens, but I didn't have any space more left in my luggage. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Don't go in there. Don't go in there.
This is actually one of my favorite gear that I have. It's the bug out roll by Canadian Prepper. And it's a really good organizer. So if you want to get your stuff uh, in an order, that's a really good way. You can get this at the website of Canadian Prepper. Okay, now it's time to break down the camp because we are leaving and the sun is coming out. I have a little bit of a small lake going on on my top. <laughs> Down the river. Catching down the river. Down the middle, mighty Mississippi. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> the mighty Saskatchewan. It's a nice area here, I have to say. Never been to Saskatchewan. Pretty wild. It's nice when the bugs aren't bad. Yeah. Right now they are. Yeah, it's really nice. Let's go. Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! Did you get wet? No. Let's roll then! What's wrong Marshall? What's wrong? You miss Lily? Catch of the day. I guess this might be all we get in here is clams and uh, mussels. Yeah, it's some good protein. Yeah. It's pretty big actually. Yeah, it's nice. It's got some good weight. It's from the bottom, so it'll be. It should be fresh yeah. and alive. I've never caught a uh, clam before. Only <laughs> fish. It's my gift. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> We are going to connect the boats now because it's so windy. Okay, let's try this.
Okay guys, so this is my makeshift rain jacket and I think it's going to rain pretty soon and if it's raining I'm okay and Nate also has caught a fish so that's pretty good Trying to catch some more hopefully, that'd be nice This <laughs> is yours, eh? Yeah, try it yeah. Okay, we are getting to a fork now and the river is moving fast this direction and Nate is trying to fish more fish so the next river will be much faster I hope that nothing happens and that we don't sink our boat we decided that we want to cover as much as ground as possible today because we want to go 100 kilometers on this river it's flowing fast but 100k is pretty long, so <sighs> it's nice. Not bad. Make a little little appetizer later. I feel bad about killing a fish that small, but we might need it to meet our calorie needs, so. Okay, so we have found our camping spot, which was not so easy because the, the river bank is so steep, but here it's really nice and flat and we are going to camp here. It's a really nice area. It's also very dry here and not too muddy. So this is it, really nice. I need some sticks for my shelter and up there are a couple of poplar trees <laughs> That's some thick brush Hey bear! Hey bear! Hey bear! Oh my god, this is real brush The real Canadian brush oh. The only way to the firewood. Hey, bear. Nate gave this saw to me, it was a present, it's really nice, it's a silky saw, but this one comes with a pistol grip, it has a much better angle to it, and I've tried it out, and it cuts really nice, so if you want to get the saw here, you can check out Canadian Preppers shop, and you would find the link in the description below. Yeah, I know, you're so cute. So now I want to get out my sleeping bag because yesterday 
it has gotten a little bit wet because of the condensation and I want to get out the bag because it should dry off before I go to bed today. Looks pretty cozy in here. Okay, now I have to get some firewood. Hey there! Hey there! This is some nice firewood. It's bone dry. <laughs> so I'm going to move the firewood here. Okay. So now we can build the fireplace. Okay, we got a whole bunch of firewood. It was taking quite long to haul the wood out of the bush, but now we are set and we are going to make a fire. Okay, now it's time to make the fish and we're going to cook it on the rock. So we have made a fire for half an hour now and the rock should be hot enough that we can cook the fish on the rock here. So I'm just moving the fire to the back a little bit. And that's it. The fish goes onto the rock. Let's see if it will cook. Yeah, that's nice. Whitefish and pickerel have a very plain taste, but mm -hmm. it's good because you no, know, it doesn't have that nasty fishy taste. Yeah, it has a nice like tenderness to it. Though. Yeah, it's really tender. Okay, I'm going to sharpen my knife. And I've put on a little notch for the sharpening stone. And now let's do some convex sharpening. The Canadian Rambo with a silky saw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the day is almost over. We paddled a lot today. It was really fun. We also saw a bear, a black bear. But unfortunately it was so far away I could not film it properly. He was just going over the ridge and then he was gone. For me it was the first time that I was seeing a black bear in the wilderness, in the real wilderness. So yeah pretty awesome experience. 
I'm looking really tired, I have to say. That's because we had a very long day. I got up at 6 or 5 in the morning because I have a jet lag. And then we did a lot of paddling. So I don't know how far we went, but it was really taking a long time and it was very strenuous. So how was your second day? It was good. No complaints. Can't complain. It's beautiful weather. It's uh, We got everything we need. Life is good. Mm -hmm. You? Yeah, I'm glad that you caught a fish because it tasted so good. <laughs> it was a delicious fish. I think it was a white fish. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Which was pretty tasty. Really nice. And it was actually pretty thick. So there was a lot of protein to it, you know. Mm -hmm. And I just had the best potato of my life, courtesy of Lily here. <laughs> Everything tastes better out here. You know, I always say that in a lot of my videos, but it's true. Everything just, you, you can appreciate it a lot more. Mm. It's maybe be because we are more hungry. Mm. <laughs> it's really beautiful here. Yeah. So thank you for the invitation. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for coming out. <laughs> Okay, it's time to go to bed. Yeah. So I made it into the sleeping bag and unfortunately I can hear some mosquitoes. So I have to cover my face in the night. But I will be fine and it's not raining. There's no wind, so I'm really happy about that. Stay tuned till tomorrow. morning these mosquitoes they are a nuisance so in the night I had to set up this mosquito net because otherwise those mosquitoes would have eaten me up okay I have to get up Okay, so I'm up, this is my stuff and I already was down at the river and I was doing a cat wash and now I feel much better, not so sweaty anymore. Let's go and see how Canadian Prep is doing. Good morning! Good morning. How are you? I just crawled out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Made a little fire for us. Cool. Get some 
water heated up. Get some coffee. And Probably the best morning that we've woken up weather-wise. Yeah, it is really nice, quite warm. I'm so happy that you gave me your mosquito net. Oh yeah? Because yesterday there were so many mosquitoes. Yeah, they came alive last night. Yeah. yeah. You never really know, like the mosquitoes dominate the dusk. Yeah. And usually the morning and the black flies, horse flies dominate the day. Okay. <laughs> they work in shifts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Let's eat something. Shaping up to be a good day. Yeah. So far so good. Nice weather. You know, nice uh, temperature. Yeah. You know, I just got to get washed up because I probably look like a PC you know what. So. <laughs> I've already washed myself and it was great. It feels so good to be clean. Hygiene is important in the wilderness. Alright guys, so this is our third day of our kayaking trip here with Canadian Prepper and we are on the... It's the Saskatchewan River after the two uh, rivers, north and south, intersect. So we've passed the forks. Now it's just the Saskatchewan River, so it's nice fast flowing water. Maybe Lily wants to pan just so you can see the water, how fast it's moving. Yeah, it's, it's really fast. It's probably hard to see on camera, but it's actually pretty strong current and yeah. it's very one thing I've learned on this trip is that uh, if you have to stop in a river like this it's not as easy as you think because you yeah. can run your boat into the rocks pretty easily so mm. we're, we're kind of novices but we're learning and it's a good old time I tell you we're having a really good time so yeah, yeah. so today I'm going to try some fishing as well this is my uh, fishing rod and I set it up with this lure so let's see if I'm lucky. <laughs> She's gonna catch a big fish with that. <laughs> the fish here, even the little ones, they, they attack anything. Whoop. Especially those pike. It's going to be an awesome day. Let's go! I'm glad that it's not raining today. Yesterday I had a miserable day. I was way out of my comfort zone. I was really cold. My feet were cold. It was windy, rainy. So today is going to be a much better day. I hope I catch a fish. Let's see.
lost my fishing lure and my fishing line because the fishing rod somehow it got entangled with a stone and yeah I didn't notice and it was unraveling the fishing line and then it snagged and now I don't have a fishing rig anymore <laughs> oh, yeah pretty unlucky but that's how it is the river here is really deep but sometimes stones are sticking out and you can't really see them because the water is so murky so I hope that Nate has a better luck with fishing there's a deer right here oh my god We went pretty far today and now we are going to search for a camping spot. Hey, we should fill up our water. All right, we found our camping spot. It's a small like gravel beach. And actually we have a source of water, running water. So it's really nice. We are going to stay here tonight. That's all right. Where do you think you would set up? Up there? Yeah. I think this side is maybe... That better. side's a little higher, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we want to see what's in here. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it's clay. Yeah. It's in chunks. We could try to make a pot. Yeah. Mm. We could do it. If you want. Right there, all we gotta do is mix it with some water. And yeah. <laughs> There's lots of sticks in here. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Nice. It's okay, we're coming back. I think I can lift it. No? No. Oh, uh, why do you always give me a challenge? <laughs> I don't know if I can lift it either if it's petrified. Yeah, maybe only one side at a time, but. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Super. Yeah. Oh, he is so strong. Canadian Arnold Schwarzenegger is lifting some logs. Ha <laughs> ha 
фильмит. I'm removing the branches because I don't want to injure myself. This here is where the top goes and it has to be really smooth otherwise you get a hole into the top. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I love them. I think they come from the dinosaur age or something. Yeah, they haven't changed in like 60 million years. Just like crocodiles. They don't evolve. They're perfect. It's pretty hard, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is my stealth shelter for tonight. It's looking good. I have a little bit of a gap here, but that's all right. So I don't think we will have a lot of rain tonight. So I think the shelter is fine. Nate has set up his tent and pretty soon we are going to make a fire. That's better. All right, I cut off this log and now the gap is a little bit smaller. That's better.
<laughs> What's up, Marshall, huh? Do you want to go hunt them? Nice. Jeez, you might just convert me yet. <laughs> Bushcrafting. Maybe tomorrow I'll be sleeping in your shelter. You'll be sleeping in my tent. <laughs> Time to eat something. I have this fake couscous. It's made from a blend of corn and rice. It's gluten free and really healthy. And you can make it pretty quickly. You just need some warm water and it takes five minutes to just soak the water. Okay, maybe we leave the small stuff for tomorrow for the breakfast. Okay, now I have to eat a couple of chairs. I need my drinks. It's pretty amazing that there's a cell phone. Yeah. Do you want a carrot as well? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay. I might have to have a little, little shot of mine. <laughs> Turning into it out here. Kind of nice though, I feel like a nice kind of way. I think we have no stress, huh? Yeah, I don't think we have stress. In two hours, we will be at the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Wow, that's an awesome shot. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, yeah, that's. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get there. Here, I'll come stand with you. Yeah, thank you. Or I can just sit too and you can stand. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, my friends. So, it's pretty late now. And we soon will go to bed. We had an amazing day. Everything was perfect. Perfect weather. Right? It was. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any fish. I lost a lure or two. <laughs> Bad luck. Maybe tomorrow we will have better luck with the fish. The river is going to open up tomorrow, so I think it's going to get bigger. There's a place up ahead that I have a good feeling about. So lots of creeks intersecting the river, so that's usually a good place to find fish. So it's 
see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so we are hearing some kind of barking over there and we are not sure if it's dogs or if it's coyotes. It's dogs versus coyotes most likely. Yeah. Somebody's dog versus the coyotes. We're by a native reservation here and there's always lots of dogs on the res and uh, they tend to go at it with the coyotes. So, mm -hmm. so maybe they have a fight right now. Possibly. Yeah. Square it off. Yeah, but I think we'll be fine. Yeah. We got Marshall. We got Marshall. Yeah. He's going to defend us. Even though he wouldn't know what the hell to do against Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cold. I have to get in my sleeping bag quickly. God, he just made my sleeping bag dirty. Okay, I'm in my cozy shelter. Unfortunately, the dog jumped onto my sleeping bag and made it dirty. <laughs> well, at least I'm warm. So, have a good one and we see each other tomorrow. I hope I'm not freezing tonight. <laughs> It was really cold in the night and the dog came back and he slept with me in the shelter. But he also made a mess. Look at the dirt. It's really dirty now because of the dog. <laughs> What a mess. Look at this mess here. Everything dirty.
This is day four, I believe, of our kayaking trip. And as you can see, we have a really nice warm fire for the breakfast. So, yeah. We are already very dirty and distinct, like bears and cougars. <laughs> yeah, so, we smell like the bush. We yeah. Eat the bugs off. Yeah. Better than getting our ass eat out. That didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> better to get our ass. Better than getting our ass bitten off. Yeah. So now we are going to have some breakfast. I'm having the potato of yesterday, and then we will leave again with the kayaks. So stay tuned. A little coffee in the morning. Coffee in Mountain House. Breakfast the champions. <laughs> yeah, I'm in! Woo yeah! All these freeloaders <laughs> trying to get free rides. Let's go, man! Yeah! Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, you're recording. <laughs> I lost my last camera in the river, so in this river, maybe we'll find it. Sure. I hope we see another bear. We only saw one bear so far and a couple of deer. But last time it was so far away, I could not get a good shot of it. So I hope that I can see a bear again, maybe closer than last time. Nice. There are some rabbits over there. I'll try to get to the side of them. It's a really nice day. Very warm. Awesome. The river is going to take us pretty fast to the next location. So Nate thinks that we go with a speed of about 10 kilometers per hour, which is really fast, which means you could do the track 100k kilometers in 10 hours <laughs> with speed. Nate is trying some fishing. Huh? Good luck with the fishing. Good dog. Lazy dog. He's getting really comfortable in the boat. Marshall is tired from the paddling. <laughs> Hard work, eh? Hard work floating down the river being dead weight. <laughs> Okay, so we found a place to stay. We have canoed quite a long time today. How Probably long did we go? 35k, I'd say. 35 kilometers? I'd, I'd say. Yeah. In one day, yeah. So yeah. it took us pretty long to get here. The first part of the trip, the, the river was flowing fast. Yeah. But the second part of the trip, the river wasn't flowing fast, so yeah. we were paddling our asses off. <laughs> It was really strange. Okay. 
Okay, this is it guys. This is my paddle shelter. Paddle step shelter. This is my home for tonight. And yeah, there are no long sticks here. So I was using the paddles for the frame. And here I've put in a pack or two packs. And then I used two taut line hitches to put a tension on the string. And at the back here, I've also used the pack. And the sides, the corners at the back, I just turned in to the shelter. So I'm lying with my weight on those corners. Pretty awesome. And Nate has already gotten us some driftwood for the fire. So this is really neat. All right, so this is going to be our Tinder today and I've taken some cambium from the poplar bark, which you can see here, it's really fine stuff. And when this is dry, you can even make a small Tinder bundle with it for the boat drill. And actually I found a lot of dry grass here. So I have combined the bark, the cambium layer with some grass and this is really fine stuff and bone dry. So this should burn easily. So now we are going to take the bark as a base layer. And this is the tinder. I have some small kindling here, which I put on top. And some sticks. That's good. Okay, so here I have some cat tail fluff. And I'm going to put it underneath the tinder bundle. This is acting as a flash tinder. So it's only going to burn very quickly. And I hope that this ignites the tinder bundle above. Got pretty much every tree on this fire. <laughs> Cattails, birch bark, grass. Everything. Poplar. Cambrian layer. Okay, let's go. Nice. That went up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> that should be good for now. Let it breathe a little bit. Get that birch bark ignited. She should be good to go. It's okay. It's going to burn. There you go. So it's the golden hour now, really nice. The golden hour is actually really long here in Canada. It takes like two hours. In the tropics it's only like 15 minutes, which is funny. So now we are boiling some water and we were using this water here. And it's not the cleanest I have to say, because this is a big river and it runs through a couple of towns so I hope that we don't get sick Mushroom! Alright, it's getting late and we're having our hot chocolate and yeah, today we're just going to sit by the fire. Fishing here is not really possible because it's too shallow 
and we only catch this greens here. It's grass, seagrass. Look at that, wow. Oh yeah, there you, there you go. <laughs> Look at the sunset. It's really nice, huh? Yeah, it's pretty normal for around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You should have seen it before when it was actually setting. Mm. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, we have big skies, but it's so flat. Mm. But we're used to this. It's, uh, it's one thing about the prairies you don't get in the mountains. It's the big canvas. Mm. Every every sunset is a portrait. Yeah. Really nice. Awesome. Nate is playing with his shovel. <laughs> Try again. So it's getting late guys and we just sit by the fire. Talking, talking, talking. Enjoying the fire, that's it. Nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so today we had a long ride on the kayaks. We said we have kayaked 35 kilometers? Approximately, yeah. Really? Between 30 to 35, I would say. Awesome. Yeah, and it was a lot harder mm. because we didn't have the river current mm. like we did for the first couple of days. Yeah. The river current slowed right down because the water opens up. Uh, right now we're in a delta of sorts and it actually mm -hmm. There's a dam at the end of this river. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that has something to do with the slowing down flow of it, but maybe. And there's a massive lake at the end of it called Tobin Lake. Yeah. And yeah, we're not going to make it there. But we decided to change up our scene, stay on an island. We were reluctant at first, but it worked out great. It's actually, it was really good. Yeah. Really perfect, hey? Yeah, Perfect really good. Setting. Nice uh, golden hour lighting. We had some good fireside chats. You know, purified some really muddy water. So anyways, we're on this little island and it's opposite to us is a few farmhouses. So we're kind of at the end of the the net natural road anyways. So we're, you know, coming on civilization now, but it's been a good trip so far, I'd say. How about you? Yeah, I feel a little bit exhausted today, but this trip gave me so much energy and strength. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing what a person can do when you're put in a situation where you have no choice. Yeah. And that's kind of the situation where we were, what we were in, because we didn't know if we would have cell service for the five-day trip. Yeah. So once we decided to embark after the first day, after we reached a point of no return, that was it. So yeah. <laughs> you know, and once that once that's on, then you you're you know you just have to do what you have to do. And my my personal opinion is that a lot of people just talk themselves out of things that they could do. Yeah, and that's true. You just got to shut that negative voice off in your head and. There's going to be a point where, yeah, it's unhealthy to continue, yeah. continue, but usually that voice in your head comes on long before that time, and it's just a matter of, you know, figuring out what is the, the true voice and what is the anxiety. That's yeah. all I got. <laughs> That's all I got. Okay, let's go get into the sleeping bag. It's all dirty from yesterday. 
Alrighty, I'm in my sleeping bag. Now I have to get the mosquito nets because they are killing me. So, I hope that I survive this night. Today is not as cold as yesterday, so I should be fine. Okay, good night guys. I slept very good. Marshall is eating my potato, which I saved for the breakfast. And he found it and ate it right now. <laughs> yeah, so now I don't have a breakfast. <laughs> well, I have one. Marshall, I love you. <laughs> Dude! That was my potato. Hey, that was my potato. How did you sleep? Oh, it was okay. It was actually really good. Okay. The mosquitoes started to get a little crazy late, later in the night, but you know, mm. it was all good. Marsh Marshall has a confession to make. Oh, what did he do? He ate the last potato. Oh, <laughs> bad boy. Was it good at least? Yes, was it, it good? was. Yes. Did you catch him in the act? Yeah. <laughs> I was busy. Well, thank God it's our last day and it's not a survival situation. Otherwise, we'd have to eat Marshall for sure. <laughs> Did you hear that, Marshall? Yeah. yeah. How was your sleep? I slept pretty good. Yeah. I have to say. But the mosquitoes were really crazy. Yeah. It's amazing how it went from like no bugs to just a thousand bugs. Yeah. That's kind of. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Last day, hey? Mm. Amazing how we've come this far. Yeah. Fill this up, get this going on the fire. Oh, yeah, thanks.
Should I double it up? Yeah. Okay. So we are filtering the water with our shirts because it's really murky and basically the water tastes like sand. Yeah. <laughs> sand and mud. So we're camping in the tall grass and I'm pretty sure that there was a snake slithering under my tent in the middle of the night. It wasn't like a rustling and a periodic sound that an animal would make. It was a constant, you know, something sweeping up underneath my tent and we have garter snakes around here they're not poisonous but that's probably what it was but it's still gross <laughs> it's still weird yeah yeah i don't think it could have been anything else it, w it definitely wasn't the sound of like a mouse because a mouse you know moves and you can hear the footprints and it's definitely not under the tent so i'm pretty sure it was a snake but they're not poisonous, like I said, so whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of, like you said, it's kind of weird. It's a weird sensation hmm. to know something is slithering underneath you. Yeah, really gross. So, you can't quite see much sediment. You can see a little bit of sediment on there. But hopefully that took a little bit of the edge off of this water because it is really nasty water. Uh. It's not nasty in the sense like we could probably drink it and be okay because it is a fast, fast uh, flowing river and this comes from the glaciers initially but it passes through so many cities and it's so muddy here that really I think it's mostly picking up mud. I don't think there's a lot of parasites in it because it is so fast flowing and it's you know uh, constantly being fed by other streams but we'll play it safe and we'll boil in anyways if I wanted to go overkill I would put a aqua tab in there as well so. I think we should use the firebox for this eh? nice look at the fountain here and here <laughs> from where from kayaking. I can't even tell. Here it's, <laughs> here it's really dark and here it's wet. Oh. Because I always wore long sleeve I can't shirt. even tell. All right guys, so this is the end of the last day of our kayak trip through the Canadian wilderness. It was awesome, good times. Yeah. Uh, many, so, uh, many uh, relaxing moments and many uh, challenging moments, but it was, it was fun. Yeah. Getting to know you. We survived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We survived. Yeah, for sure. Time for a shower. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I so. feel sorry for the person who has to drive us home, which is <laughs> my wife. So. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is it. We really want to thank you for watching. Please also make sure that you check out Nate's YouTube channel and also shop. You will find all of the links in the description below. Stay tuned till next time. See you later.